and welcome back to Father of Two Plays, Sunless Seas of Mariner Blind. Last time we left Port Cecil and made our way to the Empire of Hands. When we were there, we helped the delightful adventuress, or dropped her off and were paid, and she sold her soul summarily, and then used it to purchase workers to start excavating. We'll have to check back later to see what's going on with that. Uh, then we headed to Hideaway, where we had an event with the investigator. I forget what the precursor to his name is, but some type of investigator. And he found out that the creature on which Hideaway is built is going to molt, and the city will be destroyed, or some such. So, we then headed north. We avoided a very terrifying, very bright vehicle, or should I say ship, that tried to sink us. We made our way to the Chelinet. So, we'll make port and see what there is awaiting us in port here. A shell as big as a wild dream. Waves lap the slabby sides of a vast turtle shell, bigger than any cathedral. Chelinites loaf, Chelinites loaf on wooden docks around the shell side, staring sullenly. Lamps hang like decorations in a festive butcher's window. All around, you see the sea is rank with scraps of ancient flesh. Allow the plausible surgeon to go ashore. Okay. Uh, an opportunity from a redolent flesh merchant. Hmm. Agree to a proud request. Shore leave at the Chelinet. Obtain a, obtain a doomed monster hunter. Compile a port report. Or tales for the bone. Well, let's compile a port report first. How does one express this very striking smell? The limits of meaningful expression. No matter what details you try to record, the stench creeps in around the edges of the sentences. The Chelinites, watchful despite the reek. Movement among the miasmic scraps of long-abandoned monster carcass. Frequent duels where the stink is thickest. Hmm. Well, we have a port report. Uh, let's allow the plausible surgeon to go ashow. Oh, my word! Look at these scars! Look at these stains! Release me from my contract, Captain! I beg ye! I've saved up enough to compensate you. Okay, we'll do it. A pocket full of echoes. The surgeon is as good as his word. Hands trembling, he counts out the coins and whispers a little secret he picked up back in London. He's vague about why he didn't mention it before. He collects his knives and instruments, heads into the shell, and is gone. 200 echoes. We lost the plausible surgeon, but we now have two strategic information. Uh, an opportunity from a redolent flesh merchant. Even the Chell and its hardy folk keep their distance. Okay. For, for the flesh, he slithers, drool pouring from between his rotten teeth. The gant pole, where the breathies die, bring flesh, we sell it to the turtle earth. Turtle leaf turth, fresher meath, big money to make. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's really hard to do on the fly. I didn't, I wasn't aware he was going to start throwing in ths in every word. Um, the gant pole is said to be deep underwater, mostly by sailors who do not believe it truly exists. We're close by, I think. Uh, agree to a proud request. Seeing your ship, a hunter strides up to you. For the pride of her family and yours, she demands passage to the undersea spire of Scrimshander. I think I came close to going there once, but then... A constant companion showed up and made me rethink any of my efforts under the Z. A deal is struck. Few return from Scrimshander, not because of the danger, but because of the cost of leaving. Still, your guest promises compensation to cover the trip and your safe departure afterwards. How generous. Huh. Okay. Shore leave. A high-risk challenge. I don't think we should do that. Tails for the bone! Someone is crying. Unusual wares. Follow the sound. 
The Scrimshaw Chronicler. A scrawny man squats beneath an awning of gant-colored whale skin. Bring me a tails, he cries. Tails for the bone. Bring him a tail. See what wonders he can work. Pay the chronicler to inscribe a Z-story onto a hunting trophy and you will receive an outlandish artifact. Hells yeah. Oh, we could do a couple of those easy. If he can do more than one. The bones of the matter. Whistling, the chronicler does his work. With a flourish, he returns you a beautifully engraved piece of bone. <whistles> a good tile, he concedes. Good enough. He leans closer. You're a Z captain, aren't you? Bring me a tail worthy of the bone, and I'll shape something worthy of you. I've long sought the tail of the glory's end. Glory, what we c glory is what we call this beast. He gestures around you at the turtle's shell. Uh, none still live from those days when we slew her. But the saying is, the tail still lives on history's beach. Bring me that tail, Z captain, please. Um... Okay. We got an outlandish artifact, lost the supplies, lost the Z story, and hunting trophy, but it was worth it. Hmm. We need... What do we need? Okay. You know how the glory died. Do we? I don't think we do, uh, but we do have supplies. We just need a hunting trophy. Perhaps not. Uh, let's see... What they have at the shop. Stygian Ivory. Whispering Trophy Case. Oh yes, the drowned man is humming tonight. A song in the water like the bones of fish. Veils plus, wow. Whispering Trophy Case. Oh, and that's something I could have and then I could sell here. But I could also equip it to auxiliary, I see. Um, hmm. I was wishing, or hoping... We would be able to buy fuel and such, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So, anything else we want to do before we leave? Nope. We need a captivating treasure to get the doomed monster hunter. Alright, so the Gant Pole. It's not far away. Let's see if we could head there. Our terror is quite high, actually. It might not be a good idea to go under the Z at all, but... Uh, I mean... We're right here. Let's see. We'll see if we can find anything before a constant companion shows up and murders us. We don't want to die. Oh, it's right here. Woo! Come on. Come on. I don't hear it creeping yet. Nice. A new location. I'm going to move this up a little bit. That's a cool looking... It looks like a heart. A big metal heart, or maybe it's not even metal. Where the Z goes to die. I don't know why I'm doing an accent there. The submarine surfaces in a pocket of air in the middle of the giant stone heart. You are not the only new arrival. At midnight, a midnight whale lies mortally wounded on a small beach of bone and blubber, moaning softly. An elderly woman in ragged red robes is carving its flesh, attended by a few disciples. Approach the woman in red. Her hands move with expert, if incomprehensible, precision. A demonstration of horispacy, the art of divination through entrails, not the most pleasant or re reliable way of seeing the future, especially with the organs in question still warm and oozing as she plucks them from the great beast. Whatever she's looking for, the focus it demands exhausts her. A sudden sound, rumbling, from the tunnels, the ventricles, the sound of a stampede, a cry of, Protect the mistress! As a flood of naked old men and women, wielding primitive bone harpoons, charges towards the whale. Old sailors, fixated on one goal, feast on the Z-flesh, whether the horespex is finished or not. The flesh reveals all. You can have a drink here. Reading is thirsty work. Well, reading out loud. Here, where the Z goes to die, we know that already. And we know all that. Okay, defend the fading horespex. Join the attack. Stay out of it. Hmm... Zailers have to stick together. 
To the victors, the spoils. The Horespex and her disciples are soon overwhelmed. They flee to the safety of their hide and bone tents while the Zaylers feast on fistfuls of warm innards eaten raw and with evident delight. The whale's guts are shredded. There's nothing to learn from them. When what you have to assume are the best parts of the beast have been devoured, the Zaylers drag the rest off into their dark tunnels. Little but a hollowed carcass remains for the Horespex's disciples and the small group of silent, clothed zailers who emerge from the other tunnels to have their fill. All leave in silence, eyes hollow and mouths bloody. Well, that's terrifying. Uh, old zailers keep quality one? Hunt midnight phthalates, behemostaches, beloveds, or triskelegants to bring more beasts to the gant pole. Wow, that's okay. I've seen behemostaches, they terrify me. Compile a port report. The Admiralty is likely, unlikely, to take it seriously. The Gant Pole. Ah, that favor hazing method of many a veteran sailor, save for particularly wet behind the ears recruits. Ask your captain to deliver this to the Gant Pole. Go to the Gant Pole and find my pocket watch. Tell the crew tonight we dine at the Gant Pole. A hilarious jape. When not standing in the blasted place and hoping someone will pay you for recent news from it. Uh, cut some flesh from the chelinet? Uh, rancid flesh. The carcass of the late be or last beast to expire in this place still has plenty of meat hanging from its bones. Release a blemigan. Speak with the fading horuspix. Uh, I guess so. Cut some flesh for the chelinet. The carcass... Oh, we already read that. Pickled and pungent. Your crew would face starvation a hundred times before adding this still-quivering mass of gelatinous blubber to the supplies. To the chelinet, however, it probably counts as haute cuisine. Okay. Then I guess we'll speak with her. There's no shops here, obviously. Oh, there is. My goodness, that blows my mind. Uh, and the stuff is pretty well priced as well. Well, I mean, it works out between the two. Jonah's End. A naive merchant came here in search of glory. Now he makes his living selling less rancid meat to any customers he can find. Portentum. The Horespix's disciples will take life, give death. Not yours, obviously. Buy Stygian Ivory for Tales of Terror. Hmm. How many Tales of Terror do we have? They should be here, right? Nine. Maybe we should buy some Stygian Ivory. Could maybe make some money. Live specimen we could sell for Strange Catch. A colossal fluke core. The heart of the Tree of Ages. Harlot Fry. For hunting trophies. Well, let's buy a couple of those. And then let's go to Jonah's End and let's buy ourselves some fuel. What are we looking at? 36 cargo. Let's go to 16 fuel. No, let's go to 18 fuel, and then we'll buy one more supplies. We probably need more fuel than supplies at this point. Okay, and we're still over 900. Let's speak with her, oh, even though I'm sure she's not very happy with us. I'll have another drink first. She sits in a ghoulish tent made of the bone and hide of the long-dead beast, saving her energy for the next great behemoth to reach its grisly end. The fading Horespex. She sits with her eyes closed. A pair of disciples are wielding damp sponges, doing their best to moisten her cracked, bone-dry skin. Her fingernails have not been cut in decades. They rattle as she beckons forward. Beckons you forward. Beckons you, Deutsch? Uh, ask about the art of Horespacy. Bring recent news. Ask about her. Uh, ask about previous vid visitors. Ask what she seeks down here. So let's just do the top one, because it's the only one we can do. The nearly dead, she corrects. There's nothing to be predicted from meat but the quality of one's dinner. A wheezing laugh escapes her lungs. <laughs> In Babylon, the quivering livers of a hundred sheep showed us the fate of the first. In Rome, ah, uh, had Caesar only asked the right question. It is the life that leads to answers, not the meat. Down here, centuries of life, so many secrets. 
but the great beasts of the Z pass on so rarely. I cannot hold on much longer in the hopes of finding what I seek. Hunt Thalates, Behemoth Sashes, Beloveds, or Trisk Elegance. Bring them to the Gant Pole. Okay? No more questions for now. She nods gratefully. You take your leave. She slips into a silent stupor. Alright, that's everything we can do here. Cool. Now we're going up, because I, I hear it. Do you hear it? It's right there. Oh, dear God. Why is it always got to show up and attack my ass? Yeah, uh... Did we get hit? We didn't get hit. Oh, I bracing myself for a hit there. Frick. That's terrifying. Okay, well... I believe we... What is that? A stowaway? The quartermaster has been complaining of food going missing of late, and now you know why. The monkey foundling sits smiling innocently behind a crate. You surrounded by fresh crumbs and in a bed of... Mouth, sorry. Wait, your stolen clothes? Yes. You seemed fun, she says. She desperately wants to explore the Z with her. With you. Let her stay. Or refuse. We'll let her stay. She can earn her keep by doing odd jobs for now. Your treasures need polishing. Your mug needs filling. In time, maybe you can make an officer out of her. Yay! The monkey family hugs you tight and asks, eyes sparkling, Where do you keep the weapons? Uh, hmm. What is over here? There's something moving here. No! No, not a lorn fluke. No, we want nothing to do with you, sir. No, we'll go back this way. You mind your business. Mind your damn business. <laughs> We're gonna head over to Con Shadow. Don't, you never you mind. Never you bloody mind. Thank you, yes, just go away. We want none. Oh, we might as well stop here because we had some uh, rancid meat of some kind for them, right? Maybe we'll have to take shore leave and risk it to try and get our terror down a little. Truth in dreams, the Neath, the cavern that holds the Interzy is prowled by dreams. There's a story that it was once the skull of a de dead god. Perhaps that would explain it. Listen to your dreams, what will you learn? Sleep deeply, a high-risk challenge. We'll listen to the dreams. A dream of spires. Mirror-faceted pillars rise about you like trees in a forest, more so because each glows with a shifting green light. The Z laughs at the base of the pillars. A voice from the above cries out in seven languages, and you understand each one. Once this was the face of Irem, it will be taken from us. And we got some terror. Not, not the worst thing that ever happened to us at Z. Uh, okay. Supply the redolent flesh merchant. Delithius. The redolent flesh merchant dips a finger into the quivering blubber and tastes it with shivering enjoyment. He pays you and gets to work selling it by the cupful. It is impossible to tell if the Chelinet prefers it to their customary diet of rancid turtle meat, but it is at least a different flavor of terrible. His customers are still licking their lips when the barrel is drained to the last oily drop. We gain 200? Hmm, I wonder if we could just keep doing that, or maybe every time we uh, bring something to that other port to be... Um, I forget what, what kind of... Horis... Horispixed? Uh, used for harispomancy, whatever it was called. Um, that it, we get to take a little more back to Shabbleport there and make a couple hundred more echoes. If we keep it up like this, we could be buying a new ship right soon. And we'd have a, a weapon ready, even. That would be quite excellent, I think. There are no islands within the Z-Bat's range. Yeah, but we're pretty close to Con Shadow, are we not? I see it. So yes, we are. Um, I think this place is fairly dangerous. I guess we could have risked port back at, uh... What do you call it? The Chelinit. But, yeah, no. We probably would fail that challenge. It's like a 17% chance. So, we got a new surgeon when we had the fire, 
at uh, the sisters' keep or their mansion. So it's good. We got rid of our doctor. We got her just in time to be getting rid of our doctor and getting him what he wanted. The city that swam, Con Shadow. Long ago, the Conate turned its back on its warrior traditions. It has no place for pirates and would be nomads, so here in the shadow, the exiles make their home amid a hundred wrecked, grounded, decommissioned ships. Approach the man staring at you, acquire a doomed monster hunter, or compile a port report. So many malcontents, so little time. Oh, we do have stores here. Let's uh, compile a port report. Closely written notes. Conniving, debauching, speechifying, drinking, singing, speeching, poeting. Now and then a drunken duel. Very occasionally a savage ritual murder. Okay. Approach the man staring at you. His gaze is rather intense. What does he want? A commission. The severe chemist glares at you over his glasses. Beneath the Z, Captain. There's a city of murderers. Within it, a plank known as Tether. Bring me a jarful, and I will pay you handsomely. Accept the task, or walk away. Yeah, we'll do it. We've been there. I will get him a jarful of Tether. No trouble. He smiles in the manner of a corpse whose skin is just dried out. Excellent. You will find it in Rack, City of Pleasures. It'll be waiting for you on the Utter Shroom, or I'll be waiting for you on the Utter Shroom, where my studies continue. Well, we can indeed do that. Let's check out the shops. So we could buy Stygian Ivory and Crates of Human Souls. Maybe we should acquire one of these, because I think that the, the Devil S wanted one. Figurehead of the Eater of Names. We saw that ship. That was terrifying. Uh, we'll keep just the two Stygian Ivory for now. We could buy outlandish artifacts here. Empty mirror catch box. We need that. Bang! Bango! Uh, a mirror catch box full of very angry dream snakes. Okay. Well, uh, should we buy anything? No, I think we're good. We're going to head out of here and head to Mount Palmerston. So we're going to be going past Khan's heart and everything anyway, we might as well stop in, right? I don't see why not. Discovered Iron Quarter. Hmm, I thought we already did that. Well, let's send out the Z-Bat just in case. Maybe there's something under the Z. Not that we really want to go down there, <laughs> considering that we have a constant companion down there that we want nothing to do with. Augadai's Bridge. I'm sure I can zail under this one. Stop it with the music. You're scaring me. Would we just cross 90? A questing tentacle. Tentacle. Gleaming, it rises from the Z. It coils lazily around a Zailer, who does not speak or cry out. She only steps into its embrace and is gone. No one. Ask and no one will answer. Did you imagine it? The Z is quiet. Nothing stirs. But you saw the moon pale limb of the monster. Was it there? Did the Zailer leap? Surely you didn't push her. Surely. Alright, so we must have just crossed into 90, yep. Yeah, the music got terrifying, and a tentacle reached up and grabbed our Zaylor, or we just went crazy and shoved her off, her or him, off the ship. Either way, nice. That's good stuff. That's what you want to have happening on your ship. Seek a commercial license. Time in the tea house. Hire crew. Wander Khan's heart. Purchase fuel at an outrageous price. Or supplies at a ludicrous one. Pay a storyteller. Uh. Okay, maybe I'll do that. Gather a port report. A very modest challenge. Establish a spy. Seek intelligence. Um, well, I think we will... Compile a port report or gather one. Rivalry between the Leopard and Eagle Clans, the concerns about the Chelinet raids, some appalling gossip about the Traitor Emperors back in London. Perhaps you shouldn't write that last one down and move on quickly. The fellow in the corner has informers an informer's look. Okay, we got a Menaces, Kagian, Suspicion, but I think we're fine. Uh, pay the Storyteller, okay. 
the fall of Karakorum. The last great Khan of the surface was corrupt and foolish and cowardly. How fortunate we are that the Leopard Clan overthrew his line. Long may the Leopard Clan endure. He sold the Khanate's capital to the masters of the bazaar to satisfy his greed and escape battle. So, Kakorum fell. So it came below the earth to the long night of the Neath. 700 years ago, Kakorum stood where London now stands. You feel eyes on you. A woman in a white and gold uniform watches you closely. The loyalty service is su suspicious of foreigners who want to learn Kagian history. Okay. We lost five echoes, a vision of the surface, and we have more suspicion on us. Uh, should we wander? Yeah, let's do it. Foreigners are restricted to the Copper Quarter, but as long as you don't try to cross the bridge, you can explore in reasonable safety. We lost two terror. Excellent. Lost light. The canals of the heart are lit by incandescent filament lamps in bulbs of glass in a multitude of colors. Ruby, sapphire, topaz, emeralds by turns. There's nothing else like that in or like it in the neath or on the surface. You spend a happy quarter hour strolling the alleyways of the copper quarter until an irritable workman sees you eyeing the bulbs and accuses you of plotting their theft. Uh, let's go to the tea house. What's it cost to hire crew? Thirty. Let's go to the tea house. The copper quarter offers comfort to foreigners, but the prices are high, to put it mildly mischievous. Yeah, a little bit more terror down for 50 is not the best, but we have a fair amount of money. A gently trickling music plays behind the screens of painted weed wood. Connate merchants sip tea and swap stories with the darker-skinned elder continent captains. You sip pale golden tea and wince at the bill. Uh higher crew. No, I think we're good. Alright. Thanks for the hospitality, but we're moving on. Gotta keep moving on. Gotta sail the sea. Don't wanna die to any horrible beast. Okay, I'm done singing. I apologize heartily. But I don't want any of those things, or at least I don't want to die. I want to sail, and I don't want to die, so I'm gonna endeavor to do those things consistently. Hey, is that... Oh, okay. It's parked. We don't have to worry about it. That looks like a dreadnought or something, though. House of Ancestors. Well, let's check out Khan's Glory. There's a dreadnought. Um, I don't think we can really do much here. Offer a gift to the Taiman. Ooh. This clan is named for a sizable and ferocious fish of the surface. They have a fondness for drowning pearls for some secret clan ritual. An offering accepted. In the yellow chamber by the palace entrance, a masked functionary scrutinizes the pearls. Yes, he, she said. Oh, this is a woman. <laughs> Even through the mask, she does not meet your eyes. She rises, turns, and leaves. We have Timon's Mercy. Okay. Um, Let's do another one and get another Mercy. Yeah. I don't know what it does, but we might as well have two. We have 20 Drowner's Pearls. Or Drowning Pearls. Cruise past the palace and that's all we can do let's cruise and turn back yeah we did that before it's not worth it and they're not gonna sell us anything so we're out of here gone and we're gonna head do we head to frost found I don't know we'll see maybe we'll head uh, east instead oh that's the timer well we'll have to make another port anyway because we already left that port. So we'll make port somewhere else. Hopefully a new port even. And uh, then we'll end the episode. We could go to Frostfound. It's not far away. But I think we... Oh, it's so close. Yeah, it's right there. We're going to go to Frostfound. That's where we'll end the episode. Um, yeah, Stoddard's Haven. We were here before. And things went pretty well, but it's a terrifying place. You don't want to venture inside. Alright. Until next time, if you enjoyed it, please leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. This is Father of Two, signing off.